Howdy folks, welcome back to the alias Chalmers 712H. That stands for hydro if you didn't know. Alright, anyways, past that, listen fellers, don't be wasting that 50 bucks. You know what I'm saying, if you ain't got to, just rebuilt old Bessie here and, well, I'll let you listen. She's factory ready, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just ready for launch. Bring you on over to the other side here. A carburetor. Well, she's a little crusty. So I evil bade me one of these things. You know, it's gonna take them 16 years to get here, but she she just wasn't gonna run again off this this carburetor here. You know, it's just just not gonna happen. It, it's cracked. Right, I'll pull this out for you. See. This is all cracked here, and it looks like it's just had salt water ran through it for the past 90 years, but, yeah, that's cool. Not bad. It's good for your engine. Also, that yeah, mud dauber's nest that was in there just got blown out, sprayed a little huffy huffy on there, and it just... <whistles> so, she's a runner. She's a runner. Got our fuel cell with a little tranny fluid hooked up. Just lubricate some stuff on the inside there and it'll smoke, make a mosquito machine, you know. Another thing we got did, diddly dude, we got our alias Chalmers, nope, got our John Deere big rim, big tire, mud tires on there. Didn't realize it till after I got them put on. I got them put on the wrong way, but it's all right. There's only one thing I'm really concerned about on this rig. And I'll pop the hood for you so you can see. All right, it takes two hands to do that. You gotta lift this and this. Weight reduction, nope. Anywho, you can see, we got a little rubbish between that pulley and the wheel there. So I'm either gonna have to grind a little bit off these or just, no. All the way around. It'll probably be on this one because I planned to take these and flip them the right way. I was just, I ran out of time that day and, well, it's an Alice Chalmers. She'll run forever. 